Hello, hello, everybody. So I am back. I was out of town on a random, random trip. I got a phone call that day after I did my most recent video, and I ended up actually going to see my in-laws. Took a nice little drive out there um, for 4th of July. Completely unexpected, so I didn't end up taking any of my stuff with me so that I could do videos. But I did, however, take a bunch of diamond painting stuff with me. Sorry, it looks like this is trying to focus on everything in the background. Let me move it a little bit so we don't have to worry about that. So, I ended up doing that. And um, my kids loved it. My in-laws loved it. So, um, I did come home. Or I actually paid somebody to wash my house. Because I had a boatload of diamond paintings coming into town. And so, I did not want to leave those because living in Virginia, it rains <laughs> a lot, <laughs> especially right now. So I wanted to make sure that I got all my packages safely inside. So I ended up paying somebody to watch my house, um, like 60 bucks for two weeks. I figured that wasn't too bad. And uh, so she was bringing in all the packages and everything. So I got home and it looked like Christmas on my, uh oh, my son's up, he's playing. So excuse all the little kid noises behind me. Um, so I ended up coming home to like Christmas at my front door because there was a ton of diamond paintings and then a ton of mail, of course, but you know, besides the point. Sorry, I'm looking outside because, um, I'm in my daughter's room where my desk and everything is and they're doing construction outside. So I keep watching them kick up all this dirt. Thankfully, I'm not cleaning my truck today after this long trip, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to clean it tomorrow either if they're going to continue working on the new parking lot that they're putting out there. So anyways, we have a good old-fashioned unboxing today, but I did end up finishing that turtle project that I was working on. And the turtle project turned out like this. It looks super pretty. Super pretty. Love it. So my best friend will see it soon when she gets here on the 14th of August. Uh, I love all the colors in it. The only issue is I ran out of a lot of colors in this. A lot of the colors. Um, mainly like the blues and stuff. The ones that are pretty important and you can't like replace it with another color. You know, you couldn't all of a sudden take the white that's here and put it over here. That would look really, really odd. So, um, I was pretty disappointed in that. But other than that, I got it pretty well finished. Some of the stuff looks pretty trippy. Oh, sorry. I hate when it doesn't focus like that. This down here has so many colors in it. Like extremely confetti. Like I couldn't handle it. Um, so I ended up actually <laughs> assigning my um, sister-in-law. Her boyfriend was there. And so I let him do a lot of those confetti pieces. Because I do have my other projects that I took with me that's for my aunt and this one is my um, my custom and so I got the whole bottom part of this one finished I was super super happy about it the biggest issue is my daughter got into my diamond paintings before I left town or all of my little like um, diamonds and so there's a color on here that I can't finish because when I went there I this right here it's the letter T um, I couldn't finish all these sections because they all have some sort of T in them somewhere along the way and she lost that one Is she a T? yeah the letter T you see the letter T it's blue or it's like a gray color I think see right here you want to say hi come say hi to everybody say hello this is Ethan. This is my oldest. He turned three in May. Oh, look, they're blue. Yeah, there's a lot of blue, huh? What is it? And then that's Ema, Eva May, your sister. And then Ethan's over here, and you're the one with the most tea in there, the most gray blue color. So I did. <gasps> some... It's the tea. It's the tea. Yeah. So I did get a lot of work oh, done on those. And then it, I actually it's ended the up. Tonu. Hey, yes. I ended up getting my. Mm -hmm. getting my family addicted to it. So I brought my sister a painting because I was planning on giving her one for Christmas anyways, but I brought my sister a painting 
um, that I wasn't going to do. I was going to originally give it to somebody, but I decided that it probably wasn't the best painting to get them. So I gave it to her um, just as a first one. It wasn't too big. I think it was like a 25 by 35 or something like that. So it wasn't huge. So she was able to like get the gist of it. And I... Not sure if I showed it in one of my previous videos, but it was a American flag with a couple of wolves on it, and they were. It was. It turned out beautiful. She finished it while I was there. It turned out beautiful, and then I hooked my mother-in-law on it, and so we ended up ordering three or four more. No, we don't touch. Okay, three or four more um, diamond paintings, but I ordered them off of Amazon so that it wouldn't take as long. And I can't stand when we get the Amazon ones because it's always, um, they're almost always round. Um, if you, if you don't see it in the description, they're almost always round. And so I was not very happy with those seeing as, um, they had, she had started on squares. My sister-in-law did. She had started on the square one that I gave her, but then I ended up giving her a round one and they were like the chalkboard scenes. And so everything on them was like all black. So they got really bored really quickly. Um, but I just wanted them to overall get the gist of it. I figured if it was confetti heavy, they weren't going to want to do it. But if it was all black, it would at least give them something consistent. They would be able to learn how to use the multi-tips and stuff like that. So I did get them all pretty hooked on it. Um, and now they have a bunch of them on order and everything. So that's three new people added to the diamond painting family. So, with all of this being said, let's get started on this unboxing because there is a ton of stuff. Ton of it. Whoop! So sorry, you get to see my kid's messy room. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Don't want to make you all sick. I get really bad motion sickness. Really bad motion sickness. All right, so you should be able to see me and see everything on the tables here. And my colossal mess over here, I'm still in work in progress over here. So these first three that I'm going to unbox together. So I did open everything and like unwrap everything so that you guys wouldn't see my addresses or any like anything like that. Um, I actually do have a painting that I got that I ended up missing paint or uh, with paint with diamonds. It was one of my customs, I think, and I was missing some of the... Um, drills. So I got those in a package today or the other day. Um, so I was happy about that. Now let's just hope there's enough in here. Ethan, Ethan, can you go play with your truck in your room, please? Or we'll play quietly. Okay. Thank you. So now I. No, it's broken, baby. So now I just got to remember which painting because um, I see a lot of people they like write all that information down. I don't remember which painting. Actually, I think, I think, think, this might actually be the T for this painting here. I'm pretty positive that's exactly what it is because I think I ordered this one with paint with diamonds. Anyhow, I'll figure it out and I'll let you all know. Um, so first one's first. This one's the heaviest, so I'm gonna open this bad boy. But I do like larger paintings. My biggest issue is I get such a big painting, like my one over here, such a big painting, and then I really can't put all that much time and effort into it. So then I get really, really frustrated. Oh, that's going to be... That's it. There we go. Okay. So we're going to put these two back over here. We have quite a lot of them, if you can't see this whole mess over here. Um, quite a lot. So there's nothing else in the bottom of the box. Except for, I think, some paper. Yeah, a box. Lay down, Bo. All gone? It's all gone. All gone, no more. And I do keep the boxes so that I can send them and, like, give them to family and stuff like that. Already packaged. Ethan, hey, you need to play quietly, okay? So it looks like there's two paintings in here. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. So these ones I got with Paint With Diamonds. I did not write the prices down for these ones. I did write, however, the other ones. This is my Paris painting, and I do not see on here. Ethan, I need you to take your toys into your room, please. So I'm not yelling at everybody. Take your toys into your room, please. Now, pick it up and go take it in your room. So this one here, 
is the Eiffel Tower. Oh, if it'll focus on it. Eiffel Tower. Bring it in closer. And it's like a, with a pinkish gray background. Oh. Come on. Nothing, baby. There. Maybe then. What happened to phone? Nothing. Down? Nothing happened to the phone, baby. Sorry, I don't want to make you all seasick. All right, maybe you can just see it back here. So paint with diamonds. Okay. Um, and I don't see exactly what size this was. I would have to look it up. Let me double check. I don't want to log on to my computer right now. So we'll just, um, I'll just relay it if anybody wants to know what the information is on this guy. So pretty, um, pretty decently packaged. Looks really good. Um, there is a second painting in here. I always keep some of these so that I can send them in packages with, to my family and stuff. Ethan, your toys need to go in the room, sweetie, now. Then I got another one. This one is for, and it's going to be really, really sad to say, so excuse me if I get really emotional. I lost a dog last year on Mother's Day. Um, I had her for eight years. She was my first, like, actual dog that was mine. Like, I'd had family dogs and stuff like that, but this dog was mine. So, I currently have her on my mantle on my fireplace. Um, she was cremated. And so I have her on my mantle on my fireplace. So I made this so that I can make her like a shadow. Or I had this one. Uh, I ordered this one so that I can make her a shadow box. And it says home is where my dogs are. So when I lost her last year, I was determined that I was never going to get another dog. And I'm not sure if you all have um, watched every single one of my videos. But I have pointed out that I got a St. Bernard as my next dog. He's a purebred St. Bernard. Like, and don't get me wrong, <laughs> he is the sweetest thing in the world, but he is some sort of goofy, I gotta point out. Some sort of goofy. He is a handful, and we actually, I had to take him with me when we traveled. So let's see if this one will show you. That is the Paris one. It's a little bit bigger of a photo. Um... So I took him with me to Bo. Go lay down. That's me talking to him. Uh, oh, and there's open drills, so I'm not even going to open this package and monitor it, but I'll let you know how all that goes. <laughs> I'll do this video and unbox all of them, and then I'll probably do another video, if not today, then probably tomorrow, of just everything that I... Um, all my inventory and stuff like that and let you know how all the inventory turned out. But there's a bigger picture of that one too. So it's going to be a lot of little colors. But I really want to make her shadow box. It did come with two drill kits. Um, both with a, I believe, six drill tip at the end. So they are squares, full squares. Oh my gosh, there's drills on the outside too. Please God, tell me that there's not. Everywhere. Uh oh, that goes to my turbo. Okay. Next, paint with diamonds one. We're already at 13 minutes, so I'm going to try to make this fast. I did delete my other videos off my phone, so that way I didn't have to worry about space, because I hear a lot of people are dealing with space issues on their devices. So I want to try to avoid that even though I do pay for extra storage through Verizon and stuff, so. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. This is a sunset scene. It is 45 by 30, paint with diamonds photo, and pretty decent sized. But it's gonna be, oh my gosh, it's gonna be super pretty. By the way, I don't know if everybody likes it when you open the, the canvases so you could see the actual drills and stuff like that. I usually don't do that till I um, go to actually look at or start working on it. So this one is a sunset scape like that. Super pretty. And it doesn't seem like there's any open drills on the inside, but I like I said, I'll do all the inventory stuff in another video. That way this isn't forever and a day long. The other thing is everybody loves this paper, this right here, this paper um, when it, to cover your painting. And the ones that I order off of Amazon almost always, always, always have, oops, sorry. They almost always have the clear paper. 
And so my family was not a fan of that. They did not like the clear paper. Um, just for the fact that it, it made it really hard to know exactly, oh, know exactly where they were working. And that's really frustrating, especially if it's your first painting. You know what I mean? So, uh, but they finished them before I left. They did all of them. They weren't super big, but I wanted to make a few for my mother-in-law so that she could enjoy them. So, all my drill kits. They, each one of them is coming with a little grippy, which I love the grippies. I love them a lot. Um, they do wear down super fast, though, especially with how much I diamond paint. So, all right, lay down bow. This one is, and so I went with a huge Harry Potter theme sort of thing, because I think that's what I'm gonna do when I eventually have a bigger office, office space. But this one is a, it doesn't have the size, okay. This one is about that big, so. About the same size as the, so it's probably like a 25 by 30. Um, so that's a 30 by 45. And I'll show you the photo on here. It is a owl with a castle in the background. You can't really see it in here very good. It's an owl with a castle in the background. So I went with a huge Harry Potter theme. Not that this one's Harry Potter specifically, but you'll see in my other ones, I have a bunch of them. Maybe I can over there. There we go. All right, all right. We have moved on to, I forget which company this one is, but we will see as soon as I take this out. Because like I said, I wrote all these ones down. I didn't write the paint with diamonds one down. There we go. Sorry about the focusing part. This one is from August Knot. So I got them on Etsy. And there should be three paintings, not just in this box. I have three August Knot boxes. It's from Etsy. I got, oh, I ordered and received, ordered them on 619. I received them on 72. I have two 20 by 25 Winnie the Pooh. Um, I was going to put one of those in each one of my kids' rooms. I'm a Winnie the Pooh fan. And then I have a fixed 50 by 65 centimeter um, Harry Potter one. So they're from August Knot. It's spelled A-U-G-U-S-N-A-T. I know it's probably backwards on there, but only the first two letters are capitalized. I capitalize all my letters. Um, my husband's military, so that's kind of like a given for him. So now I started doing it whenever I write him a letter. Oh, and there's open drills. And this one is a round. That's okay. So this one's Winnie the Pooh with Tigger and Eeyore and Piglet. Why won't you focus? There we go. No. Come on. All right. Well, I think you guys saw it. There we go. Focused. There we go. So they're all looking out. Bo, you need to lay down, sweetie. It's circle, but yeah, I got tweezers. Confused. One moment. I gotta go see what my dog needs. Right back. So sorry, he was getting mad at the front door because there's sand apparently at my front door. So anyways, super small and I have two of these. So, um, but that's okay. Seeing as they're circular, I very well might not even hang them up, but we shall see. So, oop, they're just little projects that maybe I could let my kids do or something. I know they're really, really young, so a lot of those are not the safest, but anyhow, 
And all of these so far have come with inventory sheets, thank the holy heavens. So here is my next one. From August 9th. And this was off of Etsy. Again, the company's name spelled A-U-G-U-S-N-A-T. It's all one word. So this one's Pooh Bear. And just his friends. Super cute. It is a full round. Full round. But they did still come with tweezers. I find that really odd. Because normally just the squares come with tweezers. Alright, and this is my big bad Harry Potter one. Let us see. Oh, I'm so excited for these ones. You have no idea. Now, I follow um, Megan. I love, love, love Megan. Oh my gosh. All her videos. And she laughed when I told her this, but I find her voice so soothing. So it's really, really nice to listen to her while I'm diamond painting. Oh my gosh, I love it. Anyhow. So, oh my gosh, I'm going to have a boatload of... Alright, so this one's huge. Huge, huge. Oh, and there's already open drills. Okay. This one is... That. The Patronus. Oh. I believe that's what they're called, the Patronuses. But it's got Hermione and Harry and Ron um, shadowed in the background there. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. I'll pull it back a little bit. So yeah, this one is ginormous. I believe I said the size on this one was a 50 by 65. This is bigger than my current table. Not like lengthwise, but widthwise. Oh, I love the inside of it. It's gonna be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, perfection. I could not be happier. Megan, <laughs> what have you done? Got me obsessed with the Harry Potter ones. And they're all, as you saw in that picture, they're like all solid, dark, or white. Colors. So I hope that I don't get bored like she does with the white on her Harry Potter ones, which thanks to her, I also got those ones, I think. Not thanks to her, but she's got me obsessed with watching her do the Harry Potter ones that I had to buy them. I had to. So this one here is my hood can, and as you can tell, the box looks like it's seen war. I mean, both sides. So I pray to God that nothing's missing because this, as I said, is who it can. So what does that mean? It means they are customs. Yep, and I already see drills everywhere. Gosh, that makes me sad. So sad. These are customs. Now, to be even better, ooh, I wanted one of these so bad. One of these drill boats. Awesome. I'm so excited. So, so excited. And I got purple wax purple wax yes so i got two of those two drill boats i love their tweezers fancy fancy tweezers now i had an issue with who can when i ordered these i placed my order i processed my payment my payment said it processed i placed this order on six two six two that's over a month ago and they didn't tell me till six 28. Yes, I believe it was 628. No, 620. They didn't tell me till 620. Yeah. No. 629. They didn't tell me till 629 that I needed to reprocess my payment that it didn't go through. Now, like I said, I don't monitor monitor it religiously. I know like um kicking cancer's butt. She does. She monitors it. She writes it all down. Um, I know Megan has a whole binder. I have a binder for all my projects so that I can write down things that I know what I want to do. But yeah, so I had to, I, re I placed it originally on 6-2. I had to replace a new one on 6-29. But I did, however, receive it on 6-7-16. So I did get it super fast after that, which is totally okay with me. But 
these are customs and I wanted them that early because my husband's supposed to come home soon but they're of my babies my kiddos so there isn't inventory sheets because this is who I can and they don't do that but they're of my kiddos that's my son and my daughter around Christmas time and then this one I'm giving to my mother-in-law and I'm gonna keep the other one um, I believe for myself if not give it to her mom um, but this is my husband and then my daughter uh, my daughter and my son and these are 40 by 40 so they're gonna be pretty big projects now that's three customs that I have I have three customs I got one from paint with diamonds and then I got these two from Hula Camp. I'm gonna compare the heck out of these guys, like something fierce, to see which ones I'm gonna stick with. If I'm gonna continue ordering with paint with diamonds, I understand diamonds get lost all the time. Like, I get that. That's not a big deal to me. Um, and they're only human. I get, mis I understand mistakes. I am a mom of two. I can only imagine what it's like working in a place that you have like 45 projects in front of you and all these tiny little things that you have to keep together. So we'll just see how my comparison goes. I love how they're wrapped. They're on a, a foam roll, which that didn't happen with my Paint With Diamonds one. It was folded in a trifold um, in the box. So I do have creases in my, in my canvas. It does look like these are cut in four places or in th three places, so there's four sections. So that makes me super, super happy too. Um, Cause this one I've had to rip and cut and stick, uh, use my X-Acto knife. And I'm not a huge fan of that because the canvas with the paint with diamonds is so thin, so, so thin that it, um, I gotta make sure I keep these separate cause these don't have inventory sheets. So let's pray to God that I didn't already mix them up and make my life harder. But it's okay. I'll survive. There's 310. There's 1,500 310s in this one. And 310. There's 2,600 310s in the one of just my kids. <laughs> so, anyhow. I'm so glad that they're in that good of shape on the inside. Seeing as they were not that good of shape on the outside. But that's life as we all know. Now this one here, I gotta remember this one is... There's a bunch of canvases in here, so let's see. There's boat. Now, I'll have to show you guys, but I keep every last piece of what's inside here. I keep all the pens, I keep all the wax. I don't use the wax, I use the um, dollar store tacky stuff that Danielle shows you in her videos. I bought it from the dollar store. Everybody else gets it from Walmart, it's the Loctite. But I use the dot ver or the jot version, I believe, is what it's called in uh, from the dollar store. So I don't use the wax, but I do have family members like my sister-in-law. I think she likes the wax more. Sorry, I drop everything and then I have to like, try to get caught in here. <laughs> so with that being said, da -da -da, these are my Harry Potter ones, Megan. If you watch my videos, girl, we are going to have to do these together. All three of my canvases are rolled around a foam roll, and I believe there's only three. I got the symbol, so that's all white, all square, all the way around it. Oh, my mailman's here. I might have to go answer my door because my mailman loves to knock, to ring my doorbell, but we'll see. We shall see. One second. No, he put it in my mailbox today. <laughs> he put it in my mailbox today. No worries, I'll get it later. And there was no diamond painting, so we're golden. My mailbox gets wet, so that's why I wanted somebody to watch my house. Um, for the sake of my <laughs> sanity, make sure that my diamond paintings didn't get wet. So that one is that pattern. These are 30 by 40 centimeters. So we'll see. And these ones I got, which one's here? I got these from Etsy. 
the company called Shiny Diamond Painting. I ordered them on 6.21. I received them on 7.6. I got three of them for $19 a piece. With shipping, they were 66.30 total. So, all three of these. Now, this one is all of the uh oh, back up, back up. There we go. All the Patronus animals. So I believe that down there is the rat. The rat. Then there's Sirius with his dog. I don't know if. I'm not sure which one's which. If there's two dogs. Megan, enlighten me. I'm gonna have to watch Harry Potter again just so that I know this information. If you watch this, Megan, enlighten me on which one's which. Because <laughs> I'm not sure which dog. There's a dog there. And then that one looks like a wolf. But they're both... I don't know. Anyhow. So, enlighten me. Or if anybody else knows. Not just Megan. But Megan has got me hooked on these. I told her that I ordered all of them. And she was like, you go, girl. So, I got those two. And these are all 30 by 40. I'm never going to need to buy another diamond painting in my entire life. And if I do, however... Buy another one. My husband very well might disown me. This one is the Buck and Doe, and it says always at the bottom. Why? And it looks like there's a loose diamond, but it's red. And there is no red in there from what I can tell. So we shall see. <laughs> we definitely shall see. So let's bust these canvases off here. Sorry if I'm yelling. I feel like I have to talk really loud because I hear a lot of people that say that they don't, they can't hear people when they're too far away from the uh, microphone. Oh my gosh. They're like, Bo, you need to lay down, please, sweetie. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's only three canvases. It felt like a heck of a lot more than that because when they're all rolled together, they feel like multiples. Oh my gosh. So 30 by 40, my wall is going to be covered in Harry Potter paintings. All of them. There we go. Okay. I'm going to have to go check on my dog. So we traveled all day yesterday and he was miserable. My dog gets car sick. Um, so for anybody that has a pet that gets car sick, please enlighten me on what you do to help them. Because if I drive him to his vet, which is only about a 10 minute drive, he gets sick in my truck. If I don't, uh, if I drive all the way across, you know, the United States, it feels like. It was an 11-hour drive, so, but yeah, they're this big. Um, I drove to Tennessee from Virginia, so it's about an 11, 12-hour drive, depending on where you're going. Um, I, he didn't get sick on the way there. He did really well, but he also ate breakfast that morning. He had some water in his stomach, so all he did was sleep the whole time. So he was comfortable. Um, the biggest issue was the fact that on the way home, before we loaded up my truck, I didn't feed him and give him his breakfast. So before we got in the truck, he or before he noticed that we were leaving, before I started loading everything, he realized that we were going on another road trip. And so he wouldn't eat his breakfast. He wouldn't eat his breakfast. He wouldn't drink any water. Um... Me getting a phone call. There we go. But, so I feel really terrible because he wouldn't ingest anything. And that being said, I ended up really, really concerned about him because it's a long drive and he wouldn't put anything in his system. So I was really sad for him um, because we stopped a lot. I stop every two to three hours. I do have two toddlers, so you know how that is um, in the potty department. We have to stop a lot. But the biggest issue is it's hot right now, so I couldn't leave my dog in the car to go to the bathroom myself. So I was changing my kids in their car, in the truck, and then I was taking the dog out to go potty. So 11 hour drive, 12 hour drive, and I didn't go potty once. Um, not that everybody wants to know that. Anyhow, so for him, he wouldn't go potty because he wouldn't eat or drink anything. He did finally go to the bathroom super late at night before we got home. Um... But he vomited so many times, I, sorry for anybody that hates that word, but it was all stomach acid because he wasn't eating anything. So now my truck smells like dog vomit and stomach acid. It's gross. And it's hot. 
hot outside. So it's like roasting in there right now. But I really didn't feel like washing my truck today. I wanted to unbox my diamond pickaxe. So anyhow, this very, very last one. We are almost done here, everybody. This I got from Etsy. It's from a store called Schuling Store. S-H-U-L-I-N-G or story. Schuling Story. S-T-O-R-Y. I ordered it on 620, received it on 75. It's a 30 by 40, and it was $17.98. It is Jack Skellington. And I forget her name. I didn't get this one for me. I got this for a family member of mine that I know is super, super into this scene. Now, let us look on here. 310. There is 9,000 310s in this. So, after I finish my custom, I can move on to the paintings that I already have, which are like my drafts and stuff like that. Those are going to be my office ones also. No, I think I'll do the Harry Potter in my office, and then I'll do all the animal ones around my house. I think I'll end up doing that. So, with that being said, I um, have decided, I think, that I'm going to do all of that. So... But that's going to a family member. So from when I move on to these, I gotta pick which one I wanna do. So for anybody that wants to help me with that, feel free to send me um, a comment or whatever it may be. And we can, you guys can help me pick my next one, I think. I think that would be fun. We do a little poll or something like that. And I'll count up all the votes and everything. Um, I might make it an even more fun game. We'll see what we can do here. Uh, so I also watch, I love to watch diamond painting videos. I like it when people actually diamond paint. I'm not a huge fan of unboxing ones, but I know a lot of people love them. And I actually got the most views on one of my unboxing videos. And it was, sorry, this thing keeps going blurry. I'm sorry, guys. Um, on one of my unboxing and my craft space areas. These are coloring pictures from my kids, if you can't tell. Um, so... I lost my train of thought talking about too many things. That's funny. Oh, so I did a video about all of that. And so I showed everybody my crafting space. Everybody seemed to like that. I got a lot of video uh, views on that one as well as the unboxing one. So hopefully if that's the case, I can get a bunch of people to watch again. And you guys can help me pick which one to do, which one to do next. But because of that, I watch people that actually diamond paint. So if they sit there and they diamond paint, I like review videos of products. So that way I can know before I go and buy something whether or not it's worth it. Um, like that Loctite stuff, I knew that that was going to be perfection. I've used that before on my walls and holy heck did I know that it was sticky. So I knew that was going to work. Um, so with that being the case, I love review videos. I love actual diamond painting videos. So I watch Stitcherista. Now she usually does cross stitching. Um, but she's become recently obsessed with, uh, with, what is it? Diamond painting. Why can't I think right now? I don't understand. It's all these trucks outside my house. So she did a review on a company that she ordered a, di a drill pen from. And with that being said, I went to the dollar store and I saw that she got the diamond painting pen that they had at the dollar store. Somebody had used that, charged her $10, and they made a drill pen out of it. So I went home after I saw this. She has the exact same pen, but in purple, I believe. Exact same pen. Has the, a purple gem at the top and then all the green gems on here are purple on hers. Um, I made this myself. She paid $10 for hers. And... Not that mine's in as good as condition as hers. She probably has normal contents inside of her pen. I'm going to explain to you how the heck I made this thing. The regular pen itself, the ink pen. This was originally a ball pe ballpoint pen. The ink pen that's inside of it. I had my sister-in-law's boyfriend take the ballpoint out of the ink pen and leave the ink pen in there. Then the little clickety thing, he left that piece in there. Then we took the little golden metal tip off of a regular drill pen. What's wrong, Ava? My daughter's waking up, so excuse the crying here in a second. Come here, baby girl. Uh-oh. One second. Crying baby. 
All right, everybody. My dog's chewing on stuff. He's not supposed to be. He got in trouble. Anyhow, this is my little girl. You're only going to see her back in her bob because she was sleeping. She doesn't sleep with clothes on, so excuse her nudity. Um, so I made this, and I took the little golden, or he did. He took the little golden piece out of there, and then we ended up the tacky stuff that's in it. The Loctite. Put that down, please. It's not a toy, it's mommy's stuff. Um, I ended up taking Loctite and I put it to the tip of the pen itself. Excuse her cranky wake up face. What did I say? You don't touch mommy's stuff, remember? Sorry, now that they're all awake, I'll have to end this soon, but wanted to explain this. So I took Loctite in there so that I could hold this piece, but that it could also pop open and close um, so I can push it out if it starts feeling loose and then I can push the tip back in. Um, so Loctite holds everything in place so it's not all wiggly around. So this, for me, works right now. Um, I think my biggest frustration is I love the multi-drill. Um, love it. And she kind of got this because she loves the individual. Um, she does each dot by itself um, for the sake of doing the checkerboard pattern. I can't do it. I can't do the checkerboard pattern. I tried it on this painting, and maybe it's just because of my frustration with my first custom. Um, the drills for that. All my other colors, except for my black, are perfect sized. What did I say? Please put it down and go play. So. No! Excuse me? No! Go play in your room. You don't tell me no. Sorry, you guys get to watch me discipline my kids too. They're cranky today because of the traveling. So, um, anyhow, so with that one, my black drills are too small. They're not the same size as all the other drills. And that's really frustrating for me because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. You couldn't tell by my workspace, but I said, like I said, this is in under construction. <laughs> um, but I was really frustrated with that. I don't understand why the drills are so much smaller. So I have a bunch of gaps in my black drill spots compared to the rest of them. So I was getting really, really frustrated, like anxiety out frustrated. I was just super frustrated that I couldn't get them to fit properly. So we'll see how I can handle that. And I'll have to let Paint with Diamonds know that for some reason the black drills are smaller than all the other drills. And if anybody's like me, and they're severely a perfectionist when it comes to painting and stuff like that, then feel free to um, leave me a comment and make me, let me know that I'm not crazy. You want color? Yeah. Okay. So with all that being said and the lovely unboxing that we did today, I will, I will talk to you guys again soon. And feel free to leave me any questions, comments, concerns. Whatever it may be, and we will um, we will see you again next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a good day.